Friends and Tracy Gardner's family say they feared this day, but are relieved Dennis Tetzo will remain in prison. Justice. We got more justice today. We don't have Tracy, and he showed no remorse, uh, still claims his innocence, and still won't tell us where he put her. Tetzo was found guilty of second-degree murder in 2010 and sentenced to 30 years with all but 18 suspended. He has always denied his role in his wife's murder. Her body was never found. When asked by commissioners if he had anything to say about his conviction, he said, quote, I have nothing to say. I didn't commit a crime. I have no idea where she, Tracy, is, and I will take it to my grave. He lives in a dream world. He, he just wants to keep on living his life. He's controlling Tracy like he always has, and he wants to end it that way, that he won't tell us where she is. A key to Gardner's Trans Am did Tetso in, along with surveillance video showing him using it. In closing testimony to commissioners, Tetso choked back tears, saying, quote, I don't belong here. I want to get back to work. Please grant me parole. Commissioners denied his request, citing his lack of remorse, overwhelming evidence in the case, and loss of appeals. Gardner's foster sister had perhaps the most emotional testimony, saying her son, who was very young at the time of the murder, says he has no memory of his aunt. I said, you don't remember her going to your games or your Christmas, birthdays, going to her house, going to the circus? And he says, no, I'm sorry. And it, it, it broke my heart. Tetzo will now have to serve the remainder of his term and with good behavior could be out as soon as November of 2022. In Hagerstown, I'm Lowell Melser, WBAL, TV 11 News.